For me, the benefits of Pro Noctis are pretty simple. I mean, I've got as much or as little access to those guys as I want. And, uh, you know, first things first, it's a safety net. If I'm ever a, in a point uh, in the week or the month or whatever, and I'm sort of having doubts about, uh, you know, where I'm going or whether we can still do this or, or whatever it is, I feel like there's somebody impartial there that doesn't have a hidden agenda. Um, somebody outside of British Cycling that um, can see things with a completely fresh set of eyes. Um, and I know I'm going to get some good feedback and I know I'm going to come away from that meeting um, with a goal uh, that I can actually get a hold of and um, some clarity around the dream and the sort of uh, the final destination, if you like. The, yeah, the conversations I have with Pro Noctis are helpful because it's clarity of mind is, is such a big deal. I think, you know, you know, this directly translates to sort of physical performance as well. You know, I've always believed since I started cycling, there was a, a massive correlation between like, you know, how happy you were and sort of your mental health and your physical health. And, you know, it, you, without one, you can't have the other. And just getting that sort of clarity of mind was, was so important. You know, you've got to recognize the fact that as, as soon as you're, you're not in a happy place and you're kind of filled with the if, buts and maybes, you know, your, your brain's just spewing out cortisol. And if you're spewing out cortisol, it affects the way you eat, the way you sleep, and the way you're able to recover from your training. It's, um, you know, being in a happy place and being in a positive mindset is um, perhaps the biggest performance enhancer that we can have. You know, I guess, you know, when the Olympics did first get postponed, it's like, well, I had a lot of questions, you know. I didn't know whether I wanted to continue. I didn't know whether we were going to retire at the end of 2020. Um, but we decided in no uncertain terms that we're going to give it a crack and we're going to do everything we can to get that gold medal in Tokyo in 12 months time. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan for the immediate future. And on top of that, I've got the Clancy Briggs Cycling Academy that's doing well and picking up speed now. And yeah, I think beyond that, you know, I'd love to work with Pro Noctis and this is something we spoke about internally. And I do see this thread um, going on you know, into the future for a long time.